All right, welcome to week one. I wanted to just give you a preview of what you're going to learn in week one of the course. You're first going to review the VLOOKUP match index and offset functions. I taught you those in part one of Everyday Excel. They're really important for the rest of week one. Then we're going to go into two-way lookups and two-way conditional lookups. We're going to talk about finding the location of a maximum or minimum. And then we're going to talk about various ways that you can conditionally format. I did talk about this in part one of the course, show you some really sophisticated examples of conditional formatting, conditional drop down lists. We're going to talk about comparing lists. For example, we're going to be able to determine in two lists of a bunch of people who hasn't signed up for a list. So kind of the opposite of managing duplicates, but we're going to look at some advanced managing duplicates applications. And then finally, you're going to learn all about working with expiry dates. So let me go ahead and just show you a couple examples of things that you're going to be able to do by the end of this week. In part one of the course, we had this spreadsheet where we set up the total sales and the max individual sale for a particular month. We also did for a particular salesperson. You could look up the total sales and the max monthly sale, but you're going to learn how to determine who made the maximum sale in whatever month the user selects from this drop-down list. When we select a salesperson from this cell, it, it's going to output what month Jimmy made his maximum sale. And so this is known as a two-way lookup. We have two conditions that we are trying to look up. Another example of what you're going to be putting together in this week, we have an online survey with a bunch of students and the times that they submit their choices to go on various field trips. Each field trip has a certain capacity here, and I'm going to show you how we can filter through. We can sort through, look through the data, and we're only going to put on here, for example, the museum field trip, the top three, because we have a capacity for that field trip of three, and so on with City Park, Library, and Capitol Building. We can change this. Maybe we want to have a capacity of five for the museum. It automatically updates and adds uh, the next two on this list over here. And we can, you know, maybe only two people going to the library, and it automatically updates there. You're going to learn how to make conditional drop-down lists. We've got different categories here of food items that people can bring to a potluck. Each of the categories is further subdivided. What we can do is we can select the four main categories over here, maybe a main course, and the second drop-down list in column C here depends upon the category B selection. So main course, the user can select only those four options. So you're going to learn how to make conditional drop-down lists in this week. I'm going to show you how we can do advanced conditional formatting. We have a bunch of batch IDs, the production date, and the ship date. Maybe we want to conditionally format according to a low date and a high date. So if the ship date is between those two items, then it's going to highlight those lines. So this is advanced conditional formatting. Another example of advanced conditional formatting, we have a certification and we have the uh, expiration date for various people over here. And we have the days until expiration. If that date has passed, it's going to conditionally format it. It's going to highlight the entire line. And it's going to say something like expired. If we're within 30 days of the expiration date, then it's going to highlight the line orange and maybe say expiring soon. And then over here on the right, we can make a little summary table. So we need to get in contact with those people whose certifications have expired and maybe those whose certifications are expiring soon. So you'll learn about how to do this uh, in this week. You're going to learn how to compare lists. We have list A and list B, and we have some overlap. We want to identify those that are only on list A, those that are only on list B, and those that are on both lists. And if we add an item to this list, maybe a, another duplicate like Katie, then it removed Katie from list A and put her on both. Related to that comparing lists, we might have a bunch of people here and each of the people on this list have to sign up for exactly one of the other lists, group A or group B, and they can't sign up for both and they have to sign up for at least one. And we can identify here the people that are only on list A, only on list B, somebody who has signed up for both and people who have signed up for neither. So maybe if Charlie signs up for list B, then it removes Charlie from the neither list and puts him onto list B. And so we'd still have to contact these two people because uh, they're not following the rules. 
And so these are all examples of things that you're going to learn in week one of Everyday Excel Part 2. Good luck and have fun. Good luck, have fun, and if you have any questions, please chime in on the week one discussion forum.